How do you build a skyscraper? High-rise buildings start with designing structures not as high, but as lateral load systems. The key to holding 500 meters above the ground is on the ground first. The pile foundation is not just a supporting force, but an end-bearing skin-freezing combination. The ground deformation rate and the amount of subsidence must be controlled at the same time. The mat base is several meters thick and designed to absorb bending moment and punching shear. The superstructure is mostly core wall outrigger belt truss combination. Ultra high strength concrete cores maximize elastic modulus to reduce lateral displacement. The outrigger activates the outer column. Make the whole building a box type transverse rigid system. But the key is the wind. In high rise buildings, resonance occurs when the vortex generation cycle and the structure's intrinsic cycle overlap. Acceleration bounces above the limit, usually 20 millimeters. So, wind pressure distribution, turbulence intensity, and response spectrum are measured using wind tunnel experiments. Optimizes shape with taper, setback, and twist to disperse the vortex. And we're going to install hundreds of tons of TMDs on top. The structural dynamic response is phase inversely attenuated according to the mode shape. Elevators must have an airtight and pressure system that controls the pressure difference during high speed travel. Water supply and drainage cannot be raised at once due to the increase in the vertical head. Step-by-step -step pressure distribution using the intermediate mechanical layer is applied. Fire is based on performance-based fire resistance, including smoke control and evacuation layers. In the end, one skyscraper. The geotechnical, structural dynamics, wind engineering, and MEP are fully synchronized. It's a huge integrated system engineering. What are the limits of skyscrapers that humans can build in the future?